Hello everyone and welcome back to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How is everyone doing today? Thank you very much for joining in. As you can tell by the title of today's video in celebration of the Indy 500 this upcoming Sunday, I believe. Yeah, that's correct. We are going to be doing mostly Indy 500 related uh, videos for the rest of this week. So today I am going to be attempting to recreate Vitor Mira's 2009 Indy 500 crash. When he hit the wall, uh, or he got turned into the wall head-on, going into turn one, and got up on his side, going backwards along the outside wall, as you saw in that clip in the intro screen. So that is what we are going to be doing today. Thank you again, everyone, once again, for joining in. Right off the bat, if you guys could please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. I would really appreciate it. For those of you interested, I am currently streaming on Twitch if you want to go follow me on there. I'm also on Facebook and Twitter. Last but not least, if you would like to help support this channel, please go check out my Patreon page. Thank you so much to Ryan Fitzy, Tommy Joyce, and Jay Barker for your support on there. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. And without further ado, let's start crashing some indie cars. So I remember I had a friend. It was a, a mild friend. He wasn't super close, but I we talked a little bit in high school. I remember he went actually went to this race, and we were talking about it after he came back in our tech ed class and he said he was sitting uh, near where he hit the wall. I know that story isn't really that exciting, but <laughs> felt like I would share my useless story. All right, so we have Vitor Mira's paint scheme where he had the 2009 Indy car set for the OWR07 mod. I was going to do Indianapolis 2008, but that one was acting weird for some reason. The AI kept crashing on every single lap, so I think I might have messed around with it inadvertently in the past. So instead, we are just going to use the 06 version. Shouldn't be too much of a difference. And since there are uh, people in the grandstands in the... Happy <laughs> Enactments being quicker, or the attempts, I should say. We are going to limit seventy. Keep it under five thousand in second. Just the right spot where the safer barrier begins, they'll get like stuck, or you can get stuck, just like that happened. Probably would have ripped the front end of this car off. Either scream or turn my mic up. I'll try adjusting this. Oh shoot! That's right. I forgot I changed some settings before. I forgot to change them back. Sorry. Alright, that should be way better. I forgot I was recording some uh, gameplay footage the other night, and I there's a little bit of a background hiss from my microphone that I usually have turned up. 
So I switched the settings back to what they were. All right. At least we only got one attempt in with the messed up audio. At least I noticed it or realized from your guys' comments right away. So we need to hit the wall head on, get spun around so then the left side hits the wall and then get pushed up on our side so that our right side of the car is dragging on the ground and we're going backwards. Alright. Let me know if that's better audio-wise. I had the desktop boost at 4 and the microphone boost at 1 for my recording settings before, but I usually have it at 7 for my microphone boost and 1 for my desktop. Yeah, I had it majorly switched around. Where is more cars? Alright, we got Scott Dixon catching up. Followed by AJ Foyt the fourth. past where Scott Dixon was upside down in last year's 500, which I'm probably going to do a part two to try to recreate later this week. Oh, hit the apron. Darn it. Well, I got up on my side again. It's not the right way. Let's try that again. That was a little too squirrely in turns three and four. And there's no speeding penalties and happy hours, so I'm just gonna fly on out of the pits. Alright, much better for the audio, you guys are saying. Alright, good. Whoa. Is that Scott Sharp? Is there any other S Sharps in the racing world I can't think of? There are definitely a few names that I do not recognize. So just, I've always really occasionally followed IndyCar, like the highlights. Yeah, I was never really too into the series, but I'm trying to get into it more this year. Darn it! Alright, that was my fault. Gonna be a big one. Oh, you all goes. right? There goes our car. Jeez, I know it's relatively safe compared to how it, <coughs> to how it used to be. I still think Indianapolis is a pretty damn dangerous track. Especially that uh, scoring tower right there, just unprotected. If a car climbs the wall, it's plowing right into that scoring tower right up here. Speaking of IndyCar, it is about... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Right, there we go. What's today? About five days and 20 minutes from now the 2018 IR12 uh, Aero Kit IndyCar mod will be released by NASCARFunFacts.com that I helped paint four paint schemes for and we're just going to pretend that didn't happen darn it I think I need to turn the difficulty down a little bit the car seemed a little too fast uh oh I think I just took out a lot of my own crew and everyone else's crew All right, that was definitely the biggest crash of the video so far. Gonna turn the difficulty down a little bit because they're a little too fast. <laughs> he held up the pit sign. Jeez. 
Talk about a terrible wreck on pit road. Let's go in rear chase. And tumbling along, and then we're coming up to the pit crews. Looks like I bounced right over mine. I get those two. I definitely took that dude out. That dude just definitely just got decapitated. And boom. Good thing it's just a game. Jeez. All right. Next, Brendan the Gent, Cameron, Monster Jam fan, Maria Angelica. How are you guys all doing? Dale Jr. fan, 88. Except for I might try to squeeze in the Coca-Cola 600 and then the can I recreate the highlights while watching it later this weekend. But aside from that, I'm doing mainly, mainly indie videos for the rest of the week. I might not be able to stream Wednesday, so I'm going golfing again with my dad, but I uh, believe I should be free to stream every other day the rest of the week, at least once per day. So we got Mario Andretti behind us. Marco Andretti, excuse me. I don't think Mario Andretti was racing anymore. One of the Andretti's that isn't the OG. Whoops. Ow, I knew that was coming. I like how I said ow. Like that would have actually hurt me. I wonder if even with the Logitech wheel, if you could get a broken wrist. Ever. Oh, and we got a giant wreck. Well now, let's take a look at that replay. Jeez, you could just you could just tell that that was coming. And once I slid back into the racing groove, that I was just gonna get demolished. Ouch. One more view. Jeez. Once again, good thing it's just a game. I turned a little too aggressively into... That dude. I went the wrong way into the fence. The way I went into the fence is almost like Mike Conway, except the part getting airborne wasn't correct. Then Andretti went flipping as well. Into the catch fence, into the caution light. Alrighty. Next. Let's go the cockpit view for this one. Whoa. Loose. Darn it. I saw that coming. And once again, another accidental flip due to me trying to block the cars that are way faster than I am. And we go upside down from a IndyCar blowover. see a TV cam of that one. Alright. Let's see if I can actually get around to crashing in the right spot. Do 
See what happens when I try to look at the chat. See what happens when I try to look at the chat. DS Gaming, who else has Encrypted Chaos, how are the regulars all doing? Why my wheel seem kind of not calibrated correctly? center. No! That was really similar to the last one. Alright, I'm definitely going to turn the difficulty down <laughs> after that. Yet another failed attempt to try to block a faster car, although I'm Probably should be getting a little bit more up to speed before I'm trying to make blocks. Let's turn it down like 80 something. 86. Sounds good. Cody H Gaming fan. Roblo Racing. Dominic Walker. How are you guys all doing? Thank you for joining in. Darn it. Want a cloudy session. Turn the temperature down so it's a little bit more slick. Me. Why does this wheel seem way off center? I knew it felt off. All right, do that. And then one more time. I always do it tw twice. Cockpit view. I cannot prematurely crash. Just turning off the ticker so I can see the car behind me. Missed the guy that time. We got big time problems with that motor, buddy. You been the tire. Yes, indeed I have. <laughs> I was trying to clip that uh purple car, but I just completely missed. See what happens when I'm trying to look at the chat. I caused disasters in Pit Road. Jimmy Johnson, 7x23. Tony Stewart. Julian Hubbard. Jeruxess Cat. How are you guys all doing? Did you see that chaos I just caused in Pit Road? Oops. Alright, no one saw that, right?
Darn it, I missed him again. <laughs> I'm just barely, subtly trying to clip whatever car is behind me. But I keep missing. I saw that coming. people out. <laughs> All right, next. I completely keep missing. Ooh, that was close. And that's gonna be a wreck. Maybe for him, not for me. <laughs> Alright, that's how you come out of the pits like a gentleman. Seven car set for the Cup 98 mod. I did see that. I didn't have a chance to take a look at it. Yet. I'm very busy at the moment, or have been for the last like, week or so, but I will get a chance to take a look at that one shortly. And meanwhile, I have absolutely no one near me to cause this wreck, so we're just going to cause our own wreck. <laughs> Taken off. I said it's bent up. Your front end's all smashed in. Yeah, I can see that. I need to get spun just a little bit more, so I'm facing backwards. I didn't even see that. That one flipped. Ready again. 
so much faster than me. Camera shot. Limit seventy. Keep it under. Five thousand seconds. Keep it under. Let's see if I can actually get on the track when there's cars near me. Outside wall. This is one of the few streams where I'm actually being proper using the paddle shifters. I'm gonna wait one more lap. I wasn't set up good with him that time. Of course. Told you that. Looks like we're bent up on the back end. One little tap is all it takes at Indy to send you into the outside wall. You're flying through the air. Oops. Alright, let's try that again. Pantalica, what incarnation, how are you folks doing? Yes, I just hit folks. Alright, that one was my fault. Save it! Nope! Yeah, I have very... <laughs> little finesse coming out of the pits during these attempts. this channel. I had a couple other channels before I made this one that didn't last too long, but I don't know. Unfortunately, I don't have any big special video planned or anything like that. Mainly because I'm lazy. I'll still probably post something.
well then. What if Vitor Mira's 2009 Indy 500 crash was way worse? Oh well, yeah, because I hit the start of the safer barrier, so I came to like an even quicker stop than I otherwise would have. And then got stuck in the fence. Jeez. Holy shnikes. How come TV1 and Spectator is like the exact same view? Let's see that from this view, this guy's rear. Ouchie. Don't go over 70. Keep it Next. Look who it is in the standings. Number 91 of Butta. Lazier. All these ones where I get close. Pretty damn violent, and I end up just flipping or going into the fence. And it looks like Buddy might actually be able to help me out with this next attempt. He's the next closest one behind me. So at this rate, I'll be... 60 by the time I get 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> if it took me 10 years to get roughly 25,000. That actually wasn't terrible. That was the closest I've gotten. But unfortunately, I didn't stay on my side for too long. That's a huge crash. I didn't stay on my side for too long. Buddy got up in the air as well for a little bit, but that was definitely the closest I've gotten. Let me see something. I want to see something. Shit, my bad. I'm sorry guys, I usually have slow mode on, set to 10 seconds, but I accidentally forget to, forgot to switch it off the default 60. I usually have slow mode on, but I only have it set to 10 seconds, so I didn't mean to do 60 on purpose. I'm sorry about that. So I want it on to avoid spam, but not make you guys wait that long. Alrighty. <clears throat> so this one wasn't terrible. Except for Buddy Lazier flipping upside down. That was the closest I've gotten. So it was a step in the right direction. At least that one proved that I can spin and hit the wall at the right angle to be able to go be going backwards and then get up on my side. Buddy Lazier upside down. David Land just just shed a tear somewhere. <laughs> Minute 70. Keep it up. Zowski 2, VGO 3, 8 Ninja, how are you guys all doing? Okay. Whoa. Still the same wrecked car as that I caused earlier. No! Shit, that's gonna be a big one. And into the catch fence. Up 
on top of the safer barrier. Ouch. That's what happens with three wide and indie. Well, we almost got three wide. Bastard. He's not lucky, he worked for it. Video Senior, Mark Martin, what are you guys doing? That one was my fault from not paying attention to the track when I should have been when I was too busy looking at the chat. I already got you before. <laughs> Just a 210 miles an hour casually right into that the entrance to the pit road wall. Ow. I just got a headache in real life. Maybe this game is voodoo. If I get injured in the game, I get injured in real life. It's like some voodoo matrix stuff. You should go to Bristol. I have a feeling that would not end well. We had a friend had a crazy what if idea like probably 10 years ago. Because obviously everyone knows that it's extremely unsafe and incredibly unrealistic that indie cars will never go to Talladega or Daytona. I was talking with my friend one time. What if they ever went there and then someone installed like some sort of retractable speed bump like on the back stretch? So they flying and hit that thing like 260 miles an hour and you see. 30 cars, all go flying through the air, synchronized. <laughs> I'll have to do that on here. I'll have to do Talladega Hump, or Bump, whatever the track's name is, with the Indy cars. And no AI uh, panic decel. 
that'll be the next closest thing. And they're still wrecking. Limit seventy. Keep it on. gotten like one somewhat close attempt this whole time and the rest has just been me failing it's now less than five days till the release of the 2018 IndyCar mod. And got some traffic coming up behind me. Although it looks like almost too many cars. I want a huge pack. Got Justin Wilson right behind me. Race in peace, Justin. Whoa. I'm very loose. And... End of the crash was pretty close looking, except it was in the wrong turn. But the end of that looked identical, minus the flipping. Alright, yeah, I just have no control <laughs> over the cars. Yeah, just wrong start, wrong finish, and wrong turn, but aside from that, spot on. <laughs> I think it's official in a few days. Once I get the money for my friend for his ticket, I'm going to buy the tickets for the Kohler Grand Prix at Road America. I'm going to the IndyCar race at Road America this year. I to work a few extra hours to be able to afford the ticket, and I did it. Oh, come on. Exactly what I'm talking about, how Indianapolis is very dangerous. The way I landed upside down on this wall, that might have hit the cockpit if that was real life. Almost. Upside down and destroyed. Who was that that hit me? Dario. I know him. Got a 
whole bunch of guys behind me. I'm going to try to fend off until we get to turn one. Pretty sure one of those cars got stuck in the wall. Whoever that second car, that reddish one that hit me was. Pretty sure got stuck in the wall. This guy. Graham Rahal. I think Graham Rahal got stuck in the wall. No, he didn't. I mean, kind of. He got stuck in the wall, but then he popped out, and then he just landed perfectly on his side. Regardless, he just came to a dead stop. Let's go on, let's go on his rear chase. Justin Wilson almost hit him. Justin Wilson probably had a good view of that. I want to see Justin Wilson's view. Watch ahead and bam. Right past. Relatively close attempt, but it wasn't worth saving. And aside from that, it's just been huge crashes and fails on my part. Aside from the one somewhat close attempt, but not worth saving. Is that don't go in the grass quote or quote? Is that a Jurassic Park 2 reference? Don't go in the long grass. Once again, that was probably the second closest attempt, sadly, but... Scott Sharp, whoever that was, was up on the wall and then eventually rolled over. And I went right through the caution light. Perfect, but I'm getting better. Dorn boss. How oh, that's pronounced. How do I not remember that name? I feel like I would have remembered that name. No! This doesn't have anything to do with. Whoops. I know this doesn't have anything to do with the can I recreate, but I want to try something. I want to try doing a frontwards blowover right at the point where I would have hit the flag stand. <laughs> yes, I know I have a short attention span. I'm going to try to get full up to speed to hit that 
outside wall coming down the front straight right at the perfect point where I would lift up and hit the flag stand. ABC cars wrecking each other. Easy as one, two, three. Oops. And we got a huge crash. You all right? There's an accident in the north chute. In the north chute. Just trying to do geography in my head to figure out what. That was a Selvin North. See you later, what incarnation. Thanks for joining. Holy crap, Graham Ray Hall. Is that him? Yeah. What the heck happened to him? Oh, that was from me clipping him. Yeah, that's who I saw flipping, and then more cars get involved. I think we have to restart this happy hour. Everyone's going to be in the pits by this point. Crashed. All right, back to the can I recreate. Patrick will have to do. He's the first car behind me. I'll let catch up. Good old Danica. It's a weird year when Danica Patrick is able to qualify for the 500 and Jane. James Hinchcliffe doesn't make it in. Or Pippa Mon. I saw that too. That was sad. Under the catch fence once again. Another fail. <laughs> I think I got a, too good of a run on me. 
And I wasn't able to block him in time. Sent myself flying. Yeah, it's another neck. Put in it. Darn it. <laughs> You're smoking out there. Just a little bit. Holy crap. Let's see what happened to Hamilton. Hit where that safer barrier is starting, just got stuck in the wall. Ouch. Something big to celebrate 10 years, but I don't have any sort of video prepared. I just do 10 hours of random Kenner recreates or fails. Limit 70. Keep it under 5,000 in seconds. See you later, J Cat. I don't know how to say the first word, so I'm just going to call you J Cat. My back is starting to hurt. My back is hurting this much after one hour. I don't know how the hell I'd handle ten hours. But I just might have to. I'll have to coordinate it with the other people living in my house. I'm not alone in my house. I'll have to see what everyone else is doing if I'd be able to do that. If I get three new patrons between patrons between now and tomorrow, I'm gonna do a ten hour can I recreate. If anyone wants their name advertised multiple times on a ten hour long live stream. I would I would have to take at least six to eight breaks if I stream for ten hours. What if Vitor Mira flipped? And then got hit by someone else. You all right? I think I know what I'm gonna do.
I have to do something big for the video tomorrow. Don't go over 70. Keep it under. Got something decently big planned for the 400th episode too. Kind of Dale Jr. fan 88. I was going to spend 10 hours trying to recreate the Austin Dillon flip. And then I'd put in parentheses in the description, as well as others, when I get bored. So it wouldn't be strictly that, but I would spend the majority of the time trying to recreate that one once and for all. What if Vitor Mira had flipped? And then gotten T-boned? And send Alex Tagliani hard on the outside wall. And have him get T bone. You all right? You blew the engine. Your friend off mass in. Oh man. You blew it. I might have to do that. Don't go over seventy. Keep it under. More mild version of what happened to Alex Zanardi. Coming out of the pit, spins, and then gets T boned, except the car I got T boned by wasn't on the track going full speed. Famous ones I haven't finished yet. Like Austin Dillon, Jeff Bodine, Rusty Wallace in the 500. That'd be the biggest issue, yeah, is my back just sitting still in this semi crappy office chair for 10 hours. Right. If I did do that tomorrow, that might be one of the few occasions where I actually buy an energy drink. I haven't bought an energy drink or drank an energy drink in probably two or three years. I do not believe in those things. They're not good for you. I don't know why, I know it's not the guy's name, but whenever I keep seeing this uh, number 33, I keep thinking his, uh, at first glance, I keep thinking his last name is Doorknobs. Because <laughs> I see a door and then a NB and then OS. Just everything missing the K, and it's not quite in the right order. Up to Ed 
carpenter, possibly. Maybe I can spin with him. But yeah, for episode 400, I think I'm going to try... Probably the next most popular suggestion I've ever gotten, second of Austin Dillon's Crash, The King's Crash, and Lightning McQueen, is that uh, the Florida 500 finish in Cars 3 where Cruz Ramirez flips over the top of Jackson Storm after getting wedged into the wall and comes out in front for the win. That would be hard. It'd probably have to be wall grip, chassis grip, and whatever else I need. Is Castro Nevis driving one of those old school Marlboro paint scheme cars? Looks like it. Whoa. Big crash. <laughs> you it continues. Right? Whoa. How did he get stuck in the wall from that impact? Holy shnikes. I'd have to spend about two hours repairing the catch fence. Commentary from the Sebastian Bourdais crash from a couple of years ago, Ryan. I know exactly what you were talking about. You can tell he said, What a crash, just out of pure shock. And then right immediately after that, he says, What a terrible crash, because you can tell he quickly pauses and, pauses and thinks, I don't want anyone to think that I was excited, so that's why I had to say terrible. At least that's what I thought when he said, what a crash, and then immediately afterwards kind of corrected himself almost and said, what a terrible crash. Right, that one was just... I was just messing around a moment. I started making contact with whoever that was before we got into the pits. Uh oh. Holy shnikes is from the movie Tommy Boy, unless it's from something before that that I'm not aware of. Willpower. Probably the second or third best name in racing, second of Dick Trickle and maybe Blake or Scott Speed. Darn it. Three wide. Well, that was anticlimactic. Next.
Dan Weldon racing side by side. It's a little eerie. there's a 90 to 95% chance I'll be able to pull it off. Pass on man, I spoke too soon. That time I was just a little too reckless. And that's the whole field. Oops. process of putting together a little sound clip database that I can start trying to play during these streams. The three I have so far are the obvious problems. <laughs> I have Alan. I have Holy Cow, what is he doing? And then I have, we have got people cars driving under cars. Uh oh, oh, oh. Oh, that one wasn't terrible. Darn it, I just didn't stay on my side for as long as I should have, but that one wasn't. That's probably the closest one I've gotten yet, sadly. Look how the safer barrier just ends. Right there. Ah, not quite. Close, but not quite. And yes, I am going to start adding music to the wait screen soon. Like, I got overwhelming vote for yes when I tried doing a vote on my, my community page for my YouTube channel the other day. I was surprised with how many votes I got. 90% said yes, 10% said no, so definitely going with some music. I'm kind of between a few different choices right now. With anything, any music I do, obviously... Unless I never want to make any money for my videos ever again in the future. <clears throat> I uh, have to do non-copyrighted music. So I've got a couple ideas. I've got possibly the... The 
the uh, clip I use for the outro of my reenactments, which is a Kevin McLeod song, I believe it's called like Osperos or something like that. So there's that. I was also thinking about using the music that uh, pops up when you, uh, after you win a race, or after a race is over, I mean, that I use for the diecast video, that I use for the 15 year of this game's anniversary video. And I've got a couple other uh, options for uh, copyrighted free music I could possibly do. that badly. And wait for it. Boom. That was the kill shot. And Will Power just barely sneaks through. Too much, but I still can. No! 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 Uh oh, this might be bad. This might be bad. Oh, I just missed that. But I'm flipping instead. if there's a I mean I know it was never this game was never designed for IndyCar so there's no way it could ever happen that'd be really cool if there was a way to uh, have an update to where when you do the pit stops you just lift straight up and then come back down and do all four tires at once like an IndyCar but I know that would never be possible uh oh I just got flipped upside down in pit road I discover how to get Sandbox to work on my computer so I can edit tracks. The first two things I'm doing is taking the existing version of Daytona uh, 63 with the steel guardrails and getting rid of the invisible outer wall for that version of the track so I can try to recreate the Lee Petty and uh, Johnny Bochamp 1960 or 61 crash. And the second thing that I'm doing is somehow taking a MIP and somehow adding a big block of tires into the turn three uh, wall or near the turn three safer barrier at a 2012 version of Daytona Night. And putting like a little jet dryer mip around it so it looks like it's just a jet dryer so then I can try the, the Juan Pablo Montoya crash. Check I've been 
listening to too much Opie and Anthony archive clips recently. I thought that was Ted Scheckler, <laughs> the Jim Norton character. I'd be insanely surprised if anyone just got what I was talking about. Darn it. If the session didn't end, I could have done a pit stop and that could have been really cool. Go from a terrible crash to pitting in like three seconds. Except the practice session was over so they couldn't pit. Riding up on top of the wall, Tony, uh, Tony Hawk style. I almost said Tony Stewart. Tony Hawk. <laughs> Just trying to picture Tony Stewart on a skateboard. Doing a 900 on a vert ramp. <laughs> The whopper falling out of his pocket. He's not nearly as big as he used to be. I'll say that. He used to be a little husky, but he's he's gotten he's gotten in better shape over the years. But yeah, he used to be one of the huskier NASCAR, NASCAR drivers. I think Indy cars do kind of have something similar to roof flaps. If I'm not mistaken. In the newer cars, there's like something in the back, like towards here, like in the body, kind of in the back, near the back wheels. Until there. All right, that one is no good. Next. Because I noticed in the new IndyCar mod, there's a little kind of roof flap looking thing towards the back of the body near the rear wheels when I get spun around. That was with all the cars. I otherwise wouldn't have known about it if it wasn't for the new mod. But there's these little rear flap kind of things for body flap, aerodynamic flaps, whatever you want to call them for the Indy cars. They've obviously probably got a different name in Indy cars than roof flaps. Paul Tracy. turn head on enough into the wall apply directly to the forehead instead I just got up on my left side facing forward instead of backwards not correct so next <laughs> I still need to find some sort of software or app or something for my computer to wear all I can do is just hit the space bar or some, some sort of hotkey every single attempt. Just every single time I uh, try a next attempt and then have a little counter or a tally come up in the, one of the corners for the video. Might be something like that that exists. I don't want to have to exit into the stream software and enter a new number every single attempt. I just want to, just a simple hotkey that keeps an automatic count or a tally. Each time I hit it. I don't know if anything like that exists. Okay, hey, let's see if we can have the two ABC cars wrecking each other again. With AJ Foyt the fourth driving the car in the really similar paint scheme. I'm assuming they're for the same team at the time. I 
That's something you want to see every day. A weight shift rollover for an Indy car. Forty-one and fourteen with really similar paint schemes, just like Clint Boyer and Kurt Busch. Minute seventy. Keep it under. Probably gonna get going in like ten minutes or so. We're down only twenty viewers, so. Actually, since my attention span is what it is, done with the can I recreates for the Vitor Mira crash, because oh, I'm just getting bored of that can I recreate, but we will still keep it to IndyCar. I just want to mess around with the new mod for a little bit more. I only have the paint schemes that were available a few weeks ago during the beta download and then the ones I painted, so we got like 10 paint schemes. Once again, you guys can see the ones I painted. Zach Veach is the first, or the it's actually the last car I painted, but we'll go in reverse order of the ones I painted. This was the last one I volunteered for, and then the Danica Patrick car. Look at this awesome platform and oval. There's two uh, selections, AI and user, for both the oval and road course. They are different ride heights. If you use the AI car when you're supposed to use the user, you'll be like too far down into the ground or vice versa. I can't remember. And Elio, Helio, H, Elio, however you pronounce it, whatever part of the country you're from. Castro Neves, or part of the world, I should say. And then Gabby Chavez. So let's do a little bit of racing with the new mod and I keep switching out the paint schemes like at the start of testing the spoiler was blue and now it's gray in real life but I'm just sticking to what I have because they're switching it like every day AI oval we'll just do a little bit of messing around at Indy with the new mod I want realistic weather back on Castrol Neves, that's right. Drivers, start your engines. Man, I'm getting excited for this thing to come out. Less than five days. Hundred and nineteen hours until this mod gets released. One hour shy of five hours, which I believe is hundred and twenty. Or five days, which I believe is hundred and twenty hours. Mitchell Collins, what are you saying hi for? Or he gave you like two shout outs at least. I painted all the helmets too. Like look at Danica's helmet. Look how detailed that is. I did that from scratch. Wilbur Hammerfluter. Hello to anyone else I might have missed, but I think everyone in the chat screen right now. I've gotten a shout out to at least once. No contact with Rossi. We're able to get off. Our guy underneath Will Power in turn four. Robert Wickens, who crashed in practice yesterday. Maybe I could try to do a canary create of that as a little preview for the mod. 
distance is really simple. There's only like one or two camera views of it. And I actually have the car at hand. I didn't paint that one. I forgot who I think that was. Uh, Mojo 1976, the creator slash admin of this mod. Yaka Hana. Jaga. Jaga. My super butchered American pronunciation of names. Try doing some bump drafting with indie cars. It's not recommended, but it's a try it. Uh oh, whoa, contact with Wiccans, and we are flying. We are flying. Gabby Chavez upside down, back on his wheels, hard into the turn two wall, and continuing to flip. The yellow flag is out. Let's go. Big crash for Gabby Chavez. It's kind of the same spot where Scott Dixon flipped last year. Next. Drivers, start your engines. Wow, well, look at the pace car. You can see their ears and fingernails. That's how detailed the drivers are in the pace car. Favorite indie driver, I gotta say. I don't really know too much about his background aside from he won the Indian Lights Championship barely by a technicality. He won one of the most exciting indie uh, lights 100 races, whatever that one of Indianapolis is. But I gotta say, Gabby Chavez, the guy who's car driver now, mainly because I discovered his YouTube channel where he does a lot of uh, drone racing stuff. And he makes it not that well known on there that he's an indie car driver. It's almost like a humble brag thing. So I was going through his video, saw a bunch of drone race stuff, and all of a sudden saw some indie testing stuff. I was like, wait, what? Who is this guy? And then I looked up the name. I was like, oh, yeah, this guy is an indie car driver. Look at that. He also does a YouTube channel. He's actually hearted a couple of my comments and replied to a couple, so. Any indie car driver that's willing to interact with the viewers on their YouTube channel for their hobby they do in their free time, they got a fan in me. Plus, he's bilingual. He's originally from Colombia, I believe. So he can speak English and Spanish. I think bilingual people are insanely cool. Yes, I know there's a lot of indie car drivers that are able to that speak multiple languages. And it's not just him. I would mess around a pig streak or Talladega with these guys, but uh, I mean, there's just not too many cars to cause that huge of wrecks. There's only 10 cars in this field right now. I saw Ty Dillon as a channel too. So does uh, that one. Uh, was that uh, Arca driver slash Craftsman Truck Series driver that uh? Real Radman has a huge crush on openly. Uh, <laughs> uh, Natalie Decker, yeah, that's it. Doesn't she have a YouTube channel too? Drivers, start Andrew Plays 13, engine. how are you doing, man? Thank you for joining. I know I'm heading out soon, but i trying to get a shout out to me. Eh, itchy armpit. Chill games. Try a, try a backwards big one. I mean, 
couple of minutes. sexualized like intro for her videos yeah I remember her now and she's like a slow-mo shot of her walking up from the legs panning up and then she's like waving her hair it's like how if I was a woman in a super in intimidating sport like this I would use my looks to my advantage too I'm not knocking her at all nothing I wouldn't be doing uh oh holy shnikey Hey, we lost a wheel. You guys can see a little bit of the damage for this mod. And we got Castrol Nevers doing a trick trick shot sliding on his side. You alright? Next. I know Bubba Wallace does drum covers too, which is uh which is actually inspiring me. I wanna to try to do more bass videos in the future. For those of you that don't know, I I mean, I can't say I play it. I'm not in a band. I don't really do too much on my own, but every now and then, I know how to play bass guitar a little bit to play some songs of some bands that I like. But I'm not going to say I'm a bassist, per se, but I have been playing for like 10 years. A lot more than that. It's probably like 12 years. I think I got my first bass in like 2006. Yeah, maybe someday if you guys want to see me play some Rush. What other things do I know how to play? A little bit of Rage. I know how to play a little Metallica. Maybe I'll do a live stream if I can figure out how to plug my bass into my audio port of my computer and actually make it sound not too terrible. Let's do a backwards big one to test out the damage for this IndyCar mod. And I'm probably going to get going shortly after that. If I am going to indeed try to do a 10 hour stream tomorrow, be prepared for it to be very unorganized. Lots of breaks. Lots of me just sitting around in silence, just not knowing what to say the entire time. So if I do do, <laughs> I said do. So if I do do a 10-hour long live stream, be prepared to see the side of me as you might not have seen before. Keep it under five thousand in seconds. Yellow flag is out. Pit road is closed. By the way, I have my thumbnail ready for next time I want to, or next I want to do the uh, next stream for the Dirt to Daytona playthrough. I got my the thumbnail made and I'm ready for that, so next time I want to do some Dirt to Daytona, I can do that. Oh yeah, Black Sabbath, I know how to play a little of that, hence the my original... Yeah. I didn't even think about that, yeah. That kind of explains. For anyone that knows my... or remembers my initial YouTube channel name, might have known that I play bass. Yeah, Sabbath Bass Dude. <laughs> I'm glad I changed that. We need to take a closer look. Ironically, even though I haven't owned a guitar in like five years, I know how to play more Pantera songs on guitar than I do on bass. I know how to play... Not songs, I know how to play a few riffs from a few songs, I'll say that. And boom. Goes the dynamite. James Hinchcliffe. Insert the, uh... <laughs> insert that voice from the Five Gum commercial, but instead of how it feels to chew Five Gum. Do how it feels to get booted from the 500 on Bump Day. And show this clip of Hinchcliffe. I'm sorry, James. I'm, I feel bad for you. That sucks. It's just all that preparation is months and months and months of preparation and testing and dialing down the setups and running practice laps and all that stuff just to just to not 
be just a couple tenths of a second quicker and not even be eligible to race in one of the biggest races in motorsports. That stinks. But James Hinchcliffe has had some up and down roller coaster emotions. Luck at uh, Indianapolis, hasn't he? Was it uh, 2015? Where he had that bad qualifying or practice wreck? Then it was 2016 or 17. He qualified on the pole, and then this year he doesn't even make it. He gets booted on bump day. Yeah, I did see that Pippa Mon interview. That was sad. Alrighty, guys. I am probably going to get heading out. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, check out my social media links and my Twitch page uh, down on my... Uh, down below and also I'm on Patreon if you guys would like to help support this channel I would really appreciate it if you want to go check that out thank you so much to Ryan Fitzy, Tommy Joyce and Jay Barker for your support on there really appreciate it guys alright so in remembering that tomorrow is apparently the 10 year anniversary of me making this account for my YouTube I might have to postpone the uh, 2011 Indy 500 finish where J.R. Hildebrand crashed and Dan Weldon went on to win. I might have to postpone that one in lieu of a 10-hour Can I Recreate of Austin Dillon, Jeff Bodine. Was any memorable wreck I've tried but haven't gotten yet. Just 10 hours of hammering away reenactments. I might have to do that tomorrow. So if I do, don't be surprised if I'm a little unprepared, unorganized. I'm a little silent during stretches of it. Alright, I'm done rambling. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you guys later. Hope to have a good rest of your night. Peace.